All right, guys, I'm so excited to show you my e-bike. I'm gonna be breaking it down today, painting it. Uh, we got the covers already painted, already primed. Before we break it down, I just wanna do a quick run around. We got the battery, we got the controller, we got a little relay with the BMS. Dual brakes in the front. Motor. The wires are gonna be coming around the back and up. We got pedal chain, this brake, and then we got the motor chain with the little tensioner over there. Uh, suspension in the bottom. For the rear and a DDM, D, DNM front dual brakes. I just wanted to introduce this rear brake. Uh, I did. Uh, I placed the a little adapter right here. It's screwed on to the hub. The brake is here, chain is here. And then I made these two brackets. And then just this little linkage. You can pretty much make anything you want out of this linkage, but this linkage does allow this wheel to go back and forth uh, and still maintain the, this, the radius all right guys so we sanded it down got it to a pretty good finish right now uh at 120 basically gonna throw a little bond on those indents uh made from uh tack welding uh looks like i gotta do a little bit more sanding in there Everything looks good, uh, a little bit. Welding, fill that up, flush it out. Uh, and then we'll epoxy prime the body. And then we still have to sand the rear swing arm. Alright guys, so I put down some prime, uh, some bondo. Should be dry right about now, just on this side. I'm going to sand down, flush and let's see how it comes out. All right, guys. So I got them sanded. A little bondo for where the welds were. I taped it up. Wax and grease removed it. Put a little scotch bright in where the axle goes, where the bottom bracket goes. Everything's done. This so gonna have lots of epoxy prime the frame in the rear swing arm and then move on to the little things which will be the seat uh, brake bracket and I got the side covers done already they're over there took all day pretty much to get to where I'm at uh, to sand all the surface rust clean it Alright guys, so this is the next day and I forgot to start recording before but I basically scuffed it down uh, I got the epoxy primered everything is dry, I scuffed it down and I also used seam sealer um, mostly over here on this side around there um, I also used it here because I never welded on the outside. I only welded on the inside. I used seam sealer in here because I couldn't reach, but I have welded over there. Uh, the epoxy primer got a little runny on me, as you can see. Uh, I didn't have anything to spray on to adjust the the spray gun and I was actually spraying at like 60 PSI 
Um, so I had to, had to do quite a little bit of sanding to get some of the run, run out spots. Um, and now today we're going to start uh, doing a 2K primer. Uh, letting it dry for the night. And uh, and then we'll be throwing on color and clear.